Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. I have been feeling like I am so far behind on YouTubing. My real life is really getting in the way of everything I wanna be doing here on the tubes. But I am here today to play catch up. We are kicking it off with my products I've hit pan on for April, 2023. I know it's technically May, but I typically film this video every April and every October of the year. And if I start switching up the months, it's going to throw everything off. So even though it's already May 7th, we're going to say these are the products I've hit pan on as of April. And the last pan I hit was on April 25th. So technically as of April 25th, these are all the products I've hit pan on. I've been doing these videos since uh, 2018, I believe. Forever. For a long time. Yep. I've been doing these videos since April of 2018. I will leave a playlist in the description box if you've missed any of the others and you want to see. If you want to binge watch some of these videos, I will leave the playlist in the description box. But basically, I've said this before, but this is my video. <laughs> Once every six months, I like to hop on here and brag about the amazing work I've done with project panning. Not because I'm an amazing project panner, but because I'm a horrible project panner and I have to work so hard to hit a stupid pan on anything that it feels like a huge achievement to kind of look back over a six month time frame and be like, oh, okay, this isn't all for nothing. You are getting somewhere. So that's the whole point of these videos. And hopefully it's inspiring to some of you who are, you know, trying to hit pan on your own makeup collection. I mean, I'd, I'd hope to be encouraging you guys in some form or fashion with these videos. So, um, <clears throat> another thing I say in every one of these videos is that I don't know if I'm wishing for the numbers to go up or the numbers to go down, but I'm looking for change. I'm looking for the numbers to be different this time than they were six months ago. And that's how I know I'm getting somewhere because either I'm using up some of the products that already had pan or I'm hitting new pan, but either way, there's change. So as of six months ago, out of my entire ridiculously huge makeup collection, I had a total of 83 products with pan, and I'm happy to report that that number has gone up by 10. So I now have 93 products with pan. In addition to that, I have hit pan and finished three products that I can't even, that I'll talk about here today, but I don't have like a pan to show because I hit pan on them in the last six months and I finished them in the past six months. So that is very exciting. What I'm not going to be talking about in this video are the 69 products that had pan six months ago that I have not touched. There's no point in me pulling all of them out. I haven't used them. I haven't touched them. I would love to get them in a project. I'd love to finish them off. But for one reason or another, they haven't made their way back into a project pan yet. But there are 69 products that I had pan on six months ago that I still have pan on and haven't touched at all. All right, so if you follow my channel, it should be no surprise that a lot of the action that's been going on with my panning progress has come out of this palette. This is my e.l.f. 100 pan palette, and this was my pan net palette last year. I've said this before, but these pans are notoriously shallow and there's not a lot of product in them and as a result it doesn't take a lot to hit pan and it really doesn't take a lot to finish them off i'm always holding it no i'm actually holding it the right way up this time um so most of the action comes from this palette um over the past six months but one pan that was hit and finished in the past six months is a2 which is this one right here it was just kind of a gold very very light like champagne golden vanilla type uh, shade that I like to use as a brow bone highlight. I think I used it as a face highlight at times too. And kind of like NARS Albatross kind of a shade. It was really nice. It was easy to use. You know, I can put it basically everywhere. And um, yeah, so that's one that I hit pan and finished within the past six months. Another product that I hit pan and finished in the past six months is another e.l.f. product. This is my shimmer palette that I've been working on as a cream highlight. And I hit pan and finished this shade right there in the past six months. 
And then the third and final product that I hit pan and finished in the past six months is my Pixie Correction Concentrate and Brightening Peach. This had a lot of use on it from a previous year. I'm not even sure what year it was, but I had used this a lot a long, long time ago, but I had never hit pan on it. And so in the past six months, I did manage to hit pan on it and I completely finished it off. Not that that's technically a pan, but I'm counting these glass containers as products I've hit pan on as well because it takes a lot of work to hit pan on those suckers or to get to the bottom of them. Okay, out of the 83 products that I had pan on six months ago, only two of them have I completely finished, which isn't a very high number. I think I usually finish a few more than that, but they both came out of this palette, D9, which is this one right here I just finished not too long ago, is one that had pan six months ago and I've now finished and And then this one, this happened a while ago. This was a matte brown shade that I used as a eyeshadow powder, eyebrow powder, a brow powder. Um, that had pan six months ago and I finished it off within the last six months. So these two, kitty corner from each other, have been completely finished off in the past six months as well. Again, so out of those 83 pans that I had six months ago, there are 69 I hadn't touched at all. There are two that I finished, and that leaves me with 12 pans that I've been working on in the past six months. I haven't finished them, but hopefully I've expanded pan some on them since six months ago, and I'm working my way towards finishing them off. Some of, many of which I hope to be gone when I do this again six months from now, but you never know but I wanna go over those really quickly next. The pan that has been in this products I have pan on the absolute longest, it feels like forever that I've been working on this. And I seriously hope this is the last time I talk about this as a product with pan on it is ColourPop's Koosh. I hit pan on this ages ago and I've been working on this as an inner corner highlight for the last five years. It feels like, well, maybe it has been five years probably. But um, I'm really hoping that I won't be talking about this again as a product with pan on when it comes to next, when, when we get to next October, because I'm hoping this will be a product that had pan that I've now finished. But we will see. Don't let that little bit at the bottom fool you. It will last me months. Next is a product I use pretty much every single day. That is my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. I am committed to this blush until it's gone. It's, it's, the pan is definitely expanded. I have the pictures to prove it on Instagram, but um, it is a very, very slow going cream blush. And I'm really looking forward to the day when this is gone and I could go to something different because I've been working on this forever. Okay, the next one is my little baby pan that palette. Again, I've been working on this for a really long time. It's a duo from Smashbox. <clears throat> it was a sample from their full exposure palette. And the shade that I've been working on over the past six months is this matte shade down here. I know, uh, please excuse all of the crumbles that are still floating around in there. But um, I know, again, I know for a fact I've expanded pan on this. I've been working really hard on trying to get that used up and make progress on it. And I'm really happy with where how far I've gotten. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this a lot. I've really fallen in love with this little duo over the last six months to a year. And I've definitely expanded pan on that matte shade. Okay, same story, different product. My green concealer from Physicians Formula. I use this every single day that I wear makeup. I know I've expanded pan, but this is a slow moving product. I think it's possible that this might be the last time I'm talking about this and that next time it'll be an empty, at least I hope so, but I still got a ways to go. Okay, this next product is not in a project at the moment, but it stays in my bathroom and I find myself reaching for it a lot. And that is my MAC concealer. This is a studio finish concealer in C25. Um, this is going to last ages, but I have definitely expanded the pan in the past six months. I actually dragged 
the pan from a little pinpoint in the middle all the way along the side and up the edge. Um, the way I love to use this the most is to kind of like conceal around my nose before I start filming a video because even though I don't really notice a lot of redness around my nose from day to day, for some reason the camera likes to pick up on it and it really shows, uh, that discoloration really shows on camera for some reason. So I really like to use, you know, just like a swipe like that to kind of brighten and conceal. In the summertime, I will use this as an under eye concealer as well, but um, for the winter months, this is really too dark of an under eye concealer, but this stays in my bathroom and I use it all the time. All right, the next product that I had pan on six months ago and that I'm currently working on comes from my Petite Pro 2 palette by Viseart. This was my Panette palette a couple years ago, and I really, since that project ended, have only been working on this first kind of peachy shade. I repressed it about six months ago and I put it in a project last year so that I could hit pan on it again. And right before I filmed my last products I've hit pan on six months ago, I had just hit pan on it again. And now I've put this in a project again, this time with the goal of finishing it off completely. And so I have been working on that one, but sadly I haven't really touched the other four shadows that have pan in this palette, nor have I touched the other three that do not yet have pan. Okay, there are six more products that had pan six months ago. I'm still working on, and they all come from my e.l.f. 100 pan palette. So let's see how quickly I could show them off to you. This bubblegum pink shade just landed itself into my graveyard project pan, and I'm working on that one. Actually, I'm wearing it today in my transition area. This red shade right here, I've definitely worked on in the past six months. This brown shade right here is one that I started working on as a brow powder after finishing this one off. This shade right here, which I refer to as my new wave dupe from the ABH subculture palette is a favorite of mine and I use it all the time. This corally shade down here was another one I just used over and over again uh, last year throughout the entire year and I really enjoyed working on it. And finally, this shade up here was one that I had pan on six months ago. It's not gone yet. It's almost gone. I'm getting there, but I've definitely been working on that. It's one of my focus products in my Beauty A to Z project, and I'm trying to get it finished off. Okay, there are 12 new pans that I have to show you for today. I'm so excited to have 12 new pans to add to my collection of pans. I've never done an overall pan percentage. I mean, just doing, uh, just tracking my pan in every palette percentage is daunting enough. I, I ha still have way too big of a collection to invest that amount of time tracking my pan percentage, but to go from 83 to 93 is definitely a step in the right direction and I'm super happy about it. So let me show you the 12 new pans that I've hit over the past six months. I might as well talk about the two that came out of this palette first because I know I've been showing this left and right, but like I said, this was a huge part of the last six months of my makeup use up and I'm still working on it. But the two pans I hit over the past six months are this one right here, this pink one, which had a gray overspray on it. And um, yeah, it's similar to this. They're similar, but a little bit different. And then... The other pan I hit was this foresty green shade down here. Okay, next I have a shade from my Sleek uh, Solstice palette, right? I'm going to be talking about Solstice a lot for the next minute or two because the next three products all have the word Solstice in them. What a crazy coincidence. I just hit pan on Solstice left and right over the past six months, but this is the Sleek Solstice palette. And I hit pan on this purpley highlighty shade up here. It's really, really hard to see the pan. Maybe you could kind of see it there. But yeah, it was hard to pick up because this doesn't have a uh, traditional pan. It has like a plastic grid on top of the pan that doesn't really 
shine like when you typically hit pan, but I definitely hit pan there. Not the biggest pan. I loved using that shade, not only as a face highlight, but also as an inner corner highlight. That's how I really like to use it. I like a super duper bright inner corner highlight, and this is perfect for that. And then the other two solstices come from my Tarte Clay Play Volumes 1 and 2. I'm not even sure which one is which. Okay, this is Volume 1, and I hit shade... I hit pan on the shade Solstice, which is right here. And then I immediately switched to the volume two from Clay Play, and I hit pan on, once again, Solstice, right there. So isn't that a crazy coincidence? Three palettes, all with the word Solstice in it? Is it just me? Am I the only one freaking out over here? I hit pan on ColourPop Brits. This is the only ColourPop Super Shock Shadow I hit pan on in the past six months, and it happened shockingly quickly. But I think it happened in like six or seven uses. But I love this eyeshadow so much, and I would love to put it back in a project again really soon because I love this shadow so much. My next pan comes from one half of my Panette palette for this year. This is my Maybelline Quad in Natural Shock. And I've only hit one pan so far, sadly, but it's this one right here. Hopefully there'll be more pans by the time I film this again in six months, because I will be really disappointed if there isn't. Another pan that I've hit in the past six months is a little no-name powder that is uh, in my Beauty A to Z project, and it's going very quickly. I think I could finish this off six months from now. Okay, my next pan is back in my little Smashbox duo. I've had pan on the matte shade in this palette forever, but I finally, finally, in the past six months, hit pan on... The shimmery gold shade i have um, let me just put my finger up there i have a lot of catching up to do on that little pan right there to catch up to this one down here but i am so happy to finally have pan on that it felt like it took forever next i have my pan out of my abh Re modern renaissance palette i hit pan on vermeer which is up here And I hit a second pan in my Elf Shimmer palette in the past six months. That is this white shade right here, which is going nicely now. Pan is expanding. And my final product that I've hit pan on over the six months, I'm not gonna lie, I saved the best for last. It is so exciting to finally have this pan in my collection. And that is my blue eyeshadow from Sephora in the shade Pool Party. And yeah, I finally, finally have pan on that little sucker. I think that's everything. I'm really curious to see if we will be over the 100 mark when I do this again in six months. I am hoping to have finished some of these off. I didn't finish a lot off over the past six months. I only finished, I mean, count it. Counting the ones I hit pan on and finished in the past six months, I only finished five products. So that's uh, not really much at all. And really only two out of the list that I had going six months ago. So um, hopefully I will finish a lot of these over the next six months. But also hopefully I'll have a lot of new pans. So it's all very exciting. I got to tell you, I've been project panning for a long time now. I think I started in 2000 and. 16 and I freaking love it still man I still love everything about project panning and if anything I love it more now than I did in 2016 I just I love it I don't get the butterflies that I used to get like I used to literally get like butterflies in my stomach right before I started a new project that's kind of faded a little bit but I still absolutely love project panning and I love 
that we have this little community where we can, you know, cheer each other along and I can get support from you guys and I can support you guys that are project panning as well. I just love everything about it. I love that um, through project panning, I've been able to get a streamlined morning routine where I don't have to sit there with decision fatigue going, which blush should I wear with this eyeshadow and which lipstick should I wear? No, I'm gonna wear whatever I'm project panning. It is so streamlined and efficient. And I love that I am getting use out of and enjoying the makeup I already have instead of feeling the need to buy the new stuff that's coming out constantly. And I love it. And I hope you love it too. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.